we got here. And you just the cutest thing. If you're looking for a release, I just might be your man. Got an issue needs sorting out. Here to do that. So how about you fuck off, let me through, and no one will be the wiser. So serious from the get-go? I was only joking. Sheesh. Fine. Let her through, sludge. Get your skinny ass? You will be when every mox in town descends on this shithole. You got a financial claim? Take it to court, you pussy. Off and leave me be. Fine, I get it. V, Everyone hey. Pay me what you owe me, and you can fuck off between the pastures. Hello! There's a line! Nuh-uh, you ain't cutting. Glad Sit to your see ass down and face. wait your turn. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. What? Come on, you pull that number out. You talked to Fingers yet? I, what's that if only. He's harder to get in to see than the best docs in town. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls? See if we can cut in front? Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. Think Evelyn's being kept here somewhere? On the one hand, hope she is, because I want her back fast. But on the other, hope to God, no. Because who knows what that sick fuck could have done to her. Fingers, where'll I find him? He's operating on somebody right now. Been in there for ages. Shouldn't be much longer. Don't hold your breath. I spent hours waiting for him to come out. Especially when he collects payment right after the procedure. <laughs> Sorry, don't have time to sit around. Huh. That now makes three of us. Tell you what makes three. Number of seconds it'll take for me to turn this place upside down, hmm. inside out. Jeez, all right. You got nerve. Don't let me stop you if you're in such a goddamn hurry. Face Come on, let's go. Owner had a longer face than you. Edges are stretching your optic nerves. Don't worry. Try the best. We going in? Eventually. Yes. Hello. What can I do for you? Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. I knew she was here in your clinic. Ah, so that's what this is about. Where is she? Ah, a loaded question if I've ever heard one. You, Tiger Claws? Far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the Mox. The Mox? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? Used to ride with nomads. Resourceful folk. Wouldn't cast aside anything until it was worn down, dead. Couldn't be fixed or reused in some other way. But what you're giving these girls? Not even nomads would touch that. <sighs> Please. Let's not exaggerate. I give them what I can. You looking for a... friend? <laughs> Already told you. I'm looking for a woman named Evelyn Parker. Need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered. Praised, padded, to feel like, like they deserve it. Of course. Forrest, they mean anything to you? Nope. They call him Woodman. 
Works at the dollhouse. You... you talk to him? I'm the one asking the questions here. Was Woodman the one who introduced Evelyn to you? Introduced? <laughs> Interesting choice of words. Rolled her in on a gurney, more like. She was out of it. I honestly couldn't believe she wasn't dead. Never mentioned her name, so... I just called her Doll. Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. Get to the point! The point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now, either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. You are scum. Pathetic. A waste of words. I'm a hair away from putting you down. Two beefers from a BD studio took her. Didn't even know their names. Want details, damn it. Name the studio. They mentioned a moth, of all things. Virtues with the death's head. Said she'd be good for the moth. Need air. I'll be outside. 